Hey y'all, Reshmet here from IBM Engineering, and today I'm going to show you all how to create a defect in IBM's engineering workflow management solution. After navigating to the dashboard for the workflow management project that you want to create a defect for, all you need to do is go up to the top right hand corner and click on work items. From the drop down menu that appears, click on defect that is located underneath create work item. Once this next page loads, we need to fill out all the basic information that has a red asterisk next to it. It's a good idea to go in a little bit more depth and fill out the rest of the information, but since I like to create these quick tutorials, I'm really only going to fill out the ones today with the red asterisk. So we can see that I just put in a summary, and now I'm going to select what it is filed against, and I'm just going to select something random from the list here. We can see that there's severity, which we can change that, uh, where the project area that's found in, and stuff along those lines. We can also add a description, and you can add some comments. Then we can fill out the information over on the right-hand screen if you'd like to, but right now let's hop over to links. Here, underneath attachments, we can add a bunch of files, pretty much anything that you want to have associated with this work item, but let's add a link to it. And clicking on the drop down menu, we can see that we have a whole bunch of options available that expands beyond just the ad related. Then if we want to add some people to approve it, we can go over to add approvals. And if you click on the little drop down right next to it, there's a bunch more options that appear where we could create a review, add a verification, or add an approval if we want to. And any changes history associated with this work item can be found underneath the history tab. Finally, once you have filled out everything that you want to, go up to the top right hand corner and click on the big blue button that says save. Thank you all for watching. If you all have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find my LinkedIn and contact information in the description below. Hope you all have a great rest of your day.